Screws have to be removed first. The two locks number one, number two, number three, number four. Remove these four locks, we'll get a click sound. the screws are removed from behind then uh, there are four locks in the front when the keyboard is removed it just looks like this as you can see now place it like this and here you will find two locks here here there are two locks you can see Take a tweezer and uh, remove these two locks. You have to take it on the upper side. This sound will come. The ribbon connector is uh, released from the lock and simply different like this. Okay. This is the ribbon lock. 
that I've just now removed. After you remove it, you just uh, clean it with the brush. This is hard disk. The sand is dirty, so they have to be clean. the other keyboard this is the second keyboard in fact what I'm doing is I am uh, changing the keyboard from one laptop to another so the first laptop keyboard is removed this is the second laptop which keyboard is I am going to put it on the first one. So I am in fact showing you the removal of keyboard of two laptops. So first to see if the screws are all removed from behind. Their indication is there. So loosen those screws first. So there are only three, it depends on the model and uh, the, normally the laptop they will have a marking of keyboard in front of the screw which will guide you which screws are to be loosened. Okay. Now this time I am removing the, as I have shown you in the previous laptop also, there are uh, blocks here you can see it will be in, in between F12 and scroll number 1 F8 and F9 number 2 then F4 and F5 number 4 3 and SK and F1 4 blocks are there so all the 4 blocks are removed so you take a small screwdriver and just from one end as simple as that. You can see this is also removed. So as I have told you in the previous laptop also uh, there is a lock for the ribbon connector. You take the lock upside its sound will come and your ribbon is free to be removed. See. So this keyboard I am going to put there. I 
this laptop. This is the second uh, keyboard which I'm going to put. First evening is required. It is very simple, not difficult. As you can see, this is the ribbon. Now press the lock. Press the lock, the ribbon will not come out. Okay. Now put it back the way you have removed it. The lower portion first. Lock it as before. Okay. okay. Hope you are satisfied with this video. Thanks for watching. This is HP. Model number is six five three zero B. And I have. Uh, Changed the keyboard from the second one, which was your uh, HP. Six five three zero B. So I think they are compatible. Now I'm going to switching on the laptop and see if the things are working. Thanks for watching.